Hello friends. Happy Friday. I hope you can see that because I have so much glare here I can barely even see that I have a screen there. But I think I'm in the picture. I'm wishing you a happy Friday because you're going to see this on Friday. It's actually Thursday. I'm a terrible liar. The reason it's Thursday is this is uh, Labor Day weekend here in the U.S. and we have off on Monday <clears throat> and I am seriously considering taking the day off tomorrow. I haven't decided yet but I'm about 80% decided. Unfortunately I can I can make that decision pretty much at the last minute. not always like that I and mean, sometimes it's quite busy and can't get time off even if I desperately need it but right now you know, it's one of those times when lots and lots of people are taking family vacations and whatnot so slowed down a bit and uh, yeah I'm thinking about taking the day off uh, tomorrow So, let's get on the road. It was honky. A beautiful day today. Hot. In the 80s. 82, I think, right now. But clear skies, as you hopefully can see. And, uh, yeah, it's really beautiful late summer day and man it's hard to believe that it's Labor Day weekend so before you know it I will be showing you snow drifts that I'm parked in front of once again yeah it's the nature of nature it does seem to Pass by more quickly every year. You know, I remember being a kid and summer just lasting for you know what seemed like an eternity. Of course, it was never long enough because school lo loomed large on the horizon of September. But it just seemed to last a lot longer than it does now. And for that matter, winter seems to be shorter as well. And it's just that as you get older, time seems to go faster. Uh, what are you bozos doing here? Well, that's not polite. You know, to wait one red light cycle and let other traffic be able to actually merge, such an inconvenience for folks. So I'm back uh, from my trip to Vermont. Hopefully you got a chance to watch my video on that. I wasn't much of a video really. I just stitched together some moments from the trip and yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a good trip in a lot of ways. Got a lot done, took care of things that needed to be taken care of. It wasn't a pleasure trip, you know, it wasn't at all uh, a vacation in any sense of the word, but such is life. I think we're going to do something vacation-y over the next four days, which is why I'm probably taking off tomorrow. I don't know what that's going to be. I doubt very much we'll do anything overnight. We just haven't planned anything at this point. We often go away in like late September, early October, uh, which is can be remarkably good beach weather. 
and uh, it's wonderful because there's you know no crowds and you basically have the beach to yourself. Also, there's no lifeguards, and my interpretation of the no smoking laws allow me to smoke a cigar on the beach at those times. I'm probably not right about that, but I haven't been told otherwise, so we'll just see if we can get away with it. And I figure as long as it's just me and my wife and there's nobody else there, it shouldn't matter. Because it's never really that empty. I remember a couple years ago we were in it was Ocean City, Maryland, and it was just one of these weekends where the minute we pulled into into the town, it started to rain, and it just rained almost nonstop the whole time we were there. And then the last day that we were going to be there, the sun came out, beautiful day, and we thought this is great because everybody left, you know, because of the weather, so we're going to have the beach absolutely to ourselves, it's going to be wonderful. And it turns out it was the day they had scheduled the lifeguard competition where they all see who can swim further and faster and all that kind of stuff. So it was actually more crowded than it probably would have been. <laughs> any other time but it was fun I got to watch the lifeguard competition and that, that, that's interesting stuff they uh, yeah, it's, it's not just about athleticism but about teamwork as well because you know, they've got to manage ropes as one guy's taking the rope out and then another guy's swimming back in with it and they're judged on how well they have the rope wrapped up at the end of the the uh, exercise so there's there's a lot of things that are being measured not just can you swim fast and that sort of stuff the trip back from Vermont was pretty uneventful I mean my flight was delayed I've grown to expect that um, delayed by about 45 minutes and then something new to me at least uh, we overshot the um, the gate, and so we had to wait for a truck to come and tow us back uh, about two feet <laughs> so that they could open the door. So that that was interesting. And then my wife got me at the airport. We went out to one of our favorite places to eat. Um, And I slept very soundly that night because it had been a long and tiring trip and I was very glad to be back in my own bed. There's something really special about that feeling of sinking into your own bed when you're really tired. And you, you, you know you've accomplished something, you've done a, a full day's work. There's something, something just really nice about that. I don't know what we're going to do this weekend, but my goal is to not have that feeling because I don't want to do a lot of work. I do hope to spend some time in the shop and get some of that done. I'm very excited about the new workspace, you know, but just having the additional light is, is such a such a huge benefit. And I'm going to do, be doing some painting and i take some, some pictures so that I'm sure that i got some before and after for you. But I'm excited about it. Uh, I cannot see how long we've been going, guys. The glare is just too much for me. But I'm not yet at the point where I normally sign off, so 
Assuming traffic's the same, we'll, we'll use traffic to time ourselves since, since we can't see the, the timer. It was a funny work week. <clears throat> I was out on Monday because I was still traveling. Got back to work on Tuesday and had to catch up on all the stuff I had missed. Being out Thursday, Friday, and Monday. So Tuesday was a very stressful day, really jam-packed. And then because a lot of people were out this week, it just basically dropped off to nothing. Which was great because I had a lot of like desk work that I needed to catch up on, you know, reading things and <clears throat> commenting on different emails and things like that. You know, <clears throat> Monday, was, the Tuesday rather, was more about dealing with people. And that Wednesday, most of Thursday today, I was able to deal with uh, with things. And uh, yeah, it's all set, so I I can take another day off and then go back next Tuesday and do it all over again. I don't know if you can see as we're driving along here. This is this town is, is the town of Lansdale. And they put up these banners every year, um, starting on Memorial Day. And they are honoring um, veterans who lost their life in various wars. And I, I just love looking at them because some of them, you know, go back to World War One. In some cases, there's a father and son, maybe in different wars, like one on top of the other. So the top will be the father from World War II, and the bottom will be the son from the Vietnam War, or something like that. Um, all different branches of the military, all different wars, you know, and including the Cold War, um, and of course the more recent Gulf War, and, and uh, other excursions we've we've taken so it's it's just nice to see these folks remembered and of course they're all local folks now in Pittsburgh at least the town where my wife is from they have a similar thing but they actually are just honoring veterans in general they don't have to be veterans who lost their lives in, in combat. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that these are veterans who lost their lives in combat. I just know they're, they're deceased because they... Uh, actually, I don't know why I know that. For some reason, I believe that's true. Well, I might be speaking a load of nonsense here, guys. Anyway. It turns out my father-in-law has, has a banner up in... Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, the, the waterfront area near uh, where the, uh, I can't remember the name of the steel, Homestead Steelworks, where that was, is now a basically shopping mall, and all along that mall area they have these banners up, and somewhere along there my, my father-in-law and I think two of his brothers are hanging, while well, their pictures are hanging. I think it's important to remember what these folks did for us, especially in some of the, the smaller battles, uh, smaller wars, conflicts, if you will. Um, these guys gave their lives. And if they didn't give their lives in terms of losing them in combat, they certainly gave their lives in terms of serving their country rather than a thousand and one other things they could have potentially done. It's good to remember that. Well, I have probably gone on long enough. I uh, hope you all have a really great Labor Day weekend. Enjoy yourselves. I will, barring unforeseen circumstances, I'll be back with you on Sunday morning.
And until then, just enjoy yourselves. Have some, spend some time with your your uh, friends and family. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. <laughs>